Hello friends, so as you know that I have already made 10 videos on my binary search playlist so if you haven't checked it out like you should check it out because all the videos are very educative and there's a very good support on the playlist so that's why I also decided to start a new playlist on hash tables in which I will also like do easy medium hard problems from all the categories and the first four problems will be easy and they will be like in a day all the videos will be released in a day so that the easy problem will be released in a single day and then we will discuss about the mediums and hard problem i will also discuss about the uh, different problems asked in interviews and also uh, like what are different problems or theoretical problems regarding hash tables asked in int interviews because most of my friends are also asking what are different problems or theoretical problems asked in interviews regarding hash tables so we're going to discuss all of them but uh, First, in this video, I will just give a brief gist about how to implement a hash table okay, using maps and also using arrays and then we will discuss this simple problem and so let's start. So what is a hash table initially means? So as you can see, a hash table or a map, you can say in general terms and like in C++, in hash table actually stores a key value pair. What I mean by key value pair means, let's assume that I have some value for one. I want to store that whenever I see one, I have to output five. Maybe there's some code in which whenever I see one, I have to output five. Whenever I see a two, I have to output seven. Whenever I see three, I have to output like 11. That's a simple code. You have to output this. How you can do this? Like you, you can store all these values in some like an array or some variable and you can output it, output them but because these are only three values let's assume there are 1000 values then you should not make 1000 variables now so what you can do here is you can use a hash table because hash table stores a key value pair key means that if you give the input of one in the hash table it will output five if you give the input of two in the hash table it will give output four, seven so it will stores like this uh, like this relation with 1 match to 5 2 match to 7 3 match to 11 and so on now how you can implement a hash table in c++ i'll talk about c++ you can use a map or an unordered map in which you can define map like this and you can open this brackets if you are you have to define two data types the first data type means what is the data type for the key and the second data type means what is the data type for the value and then you have to give the name for this map which is like mp so that's how you define a map in c++ so you you write map this type of bracket int int the data type for key and the value itself and the name for that map and if you want to make an unordered map you can do the same but you just have to output or like to print unordered unordered underscore map and then the same thing and 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 now for this map like mostly in most of the cases like this map is used but in this map the operation to search any key value pair take o of log n time what i mean by this is because it stores in a form of the binary tree I will talk about how it stores but it stores in the form of tree and if you want to search like one in if you search any value in a tree it's take o of log in time but if you want to even do this far like process more fast you can make a vector itself or an array itself what i mean by this is because let's assume that i want to store for one five so you can make a vector or like an array in which at the first index this is the zero index this is the first index store 5 at the second index store 7 at the third index store 11 and now you can do an o of 1 lookup means that if you just input the index of a number which is 2 you can just get the output which is 7 so it just take o of 1 time but in this hash table if you make a map it will take an n log like log in time so I hope you get the intuition how we make a vector to store 
but as you can see the maximum size of a vector on, or an array we can make is of 10 to the power 6 so like you can make a very large vector of 10 to the power 6 size but let's assume that you want to store a key value pair for 10 to the power 9 or 10 to the power 12 then you cannot do this in uh, like a very or like in a vector which is continuous so then in that case you can use a map because map can store individual key value pairs it don't uh, store them in a single row so in this a lot of memory is wasted also and used but in this it stores all the key value pair which is just inserted so we're gonna discuss all of them in later videos also so that's the whole gist of how what like what is hash maps and like how we use them now uh, when you use map there is some key functionality I want to talk about so map is like a you can assume it to be a container if you use map you can it's like a container which stores key value pair for everything you store one value okay now let's assume that you want to insert a new value into this map so so if you want to insert a new value maybe there this value must already exist like if you want to exist like exist uh, like want to make a map for a map to one now maybe a map to one already exists in this map you don't want to like enter this again so how you can check that whether a particular entry already present in the map you can use find function but better than the find function you can use count function so count function can be used to find out whether a partic what is the count for any value in this map so what i mean by this is if i make like this the uh, syntax map dot count and i want to count the value for a it should output one so if it output one then okay it means that this a already present in the map that's why it has some value but if this a doesn't exist in the map it will return out zero because there is no entry for a and thus you can easily check out using this count function whether whether any entry is present in the map or not okay so i'll talk about this count function again in later videos so that's the like a simple theory of maps how to implement them how to use them and with the more questions i'll make this in this playlist you will understand more so we're gonna understand the first problem here so you're given an area of integers nums and you have to find out a pair ij which is good if nums of i is equal to nums of j it on the number of good pairs what i mean by this here is you are given some array and you have to count out good pairs and a pair is good if two numbers are same so as you can see this pair is good one one this pair is also good one one and this pair is good one one so as you can see and this pair is also good one one so there are like three ones so how many pairs i can form with these ones is equal to like three and this also one this pair so it is equal to four so output is four so how you can solve this function or like this problem using uh, like hash maps or maps or like maps so as you can see what i can do here is because the constraint of this problem is small you can also do an o of n square operation in which for every integer you can find out the number of number of ones again there in the array such that i can know how many pairs are there so like for i equal to one i'll check out how many ones are there I equal to two how many twos are there i equal to three how many threes are there and that's the number of pairs it will form but what you can also do here is i'll tell you with the example one two three one one three if i move from left to right and if i keep a store of these numbers count what i mean by count value is let's uh, let's assume i make a map value a map And for every integer, I'll store the count of it. So because I have seen one till now, the count for one is one. The count for two till now is one. The count for three till now is one. Now I again see one. So if I again see one, what does this mean? There is already one present before this one. I can check that how many ones are before this one using this map this map stores how many ones are there to the left of this because 
as you can see there is only one one on the left of this so how many pairs i can form i can form if i take this one and the number of one before me i can take one pair and now because i have taken this one i will add this number and update this value to 2 which means that for this particular value how many ones are there before this number 2 so i should first add or like how find out how many pairs are there and then add then you can see that there are for this number how many ones are there before it two ones so it means that i can form two pairs with this if i take one number as this and because i want to make pairs which has a similar number like one one so if i take one as this number i have to find out how many numbers are there which are equal to one which are before this so i can see that there okay there are two ones which are before this and they, like they are equal to one so that's why they can form pair with this so i will first tell us like how many pairs i can form which is two and then make this equal to three which is i have seen three ones till now then i will come to this point i'll check how many threes i have seen before this it's equal to one so which means that i can make a pair of this also and if you add all this it's equal to four so that's how you can do this now you can do this using map and you can also make a vector also which will stores what is the frequency of every number till now okay so i hope you get the intuition how to solve this problem if you don't you can rewatch this video or you can continue watching this series and you will understand more so the code for this problem is this which is also very simple you would take the input of nums the size of this total total number of pairs good pairs map is from integer to integer which means that the key is integer and the value is integer also and we'll move from left to right and we'll first add add means total plus equal to map of nums of i what does this mean i've initialized the map and in the map i'm storing as you can see in the map i'm storing nums of i nums of i what is the value of this value the ith value and i will increment its count so i'm incrementing the count of the nums of i and before incrementing the count i'm taking out how many numbers are there before this so how you can check if i insert this number in map so as you can see in map i'm inserting this number it will return out the values of that key so the value of that key is the number of frequency of that number before that number so this will return out the key and i will add all the sorry it will return out the value and i will add all the values for all the keys in the total and return out the total value which is the total number of pairs square pairs so that's a very simple problem if you still have not mentioned down and i will keep on posting videos on this playlist also so stay tuned as the next one keep coding bye